हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे लेट अस गो थ्रू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ मॉड्यूल थ्री दैट इज द नीड फॉर ऑप्टिमाइजेशन सो फर्स्टली व्हाट इज ऑप्टिमाइजेशन सो ऑप्टिमाइजेशन इज नथिंग बट मेकिंग यूज ऑफ द रिसोर्सेज वेरी इफेक्टिवली सो एज ऑल नो दैट आई कैन बी बिल्ट ऑन इंटरनेट प्रोटोकॉल सूट एंड इंटरनेट प्रोटोकॉल सूट इज नथिंग बट इट कंटेन्स वेरियस layers or combination of layers so although it can be built on ip suit it still imposes some difficulties whenever we are implementing uh, iot solutions so therefore we need optimization at various layers of internet protocol stack in order to handle the restrictions that are present in iot networks so which are the areas we have to focus on in order to optimize it so here they have explained three main areas so the first one is the constraint nodes the second is constraint networks and the third is ip versions so now let us go through constraint nodes so when we talk about iot it is obvious that it has different classes of devices so a single node or thing in iot network may or may not offer the same characteristics depending upon the functions also these nodes may be forced to communicate through unreliable network paths so it is so it may cause limited throughput or low conversions when topology topologies changed so and also uh, lastly uh, the power consumption so as you all know all uh, this thing uh, iot devices are already Uh, battery powered and that battery will last from few months to few years so these are the problems that are caused in constraint nodes so these are the that's why we have to optimize the constraint nodes so second is constraint networks so what is a constraint so i have i forgot to tell you what is a constraint node a constraint node is nothing but it is a n node uh, where it has sensors as well as actuators and it is made to handle a specific application so now let us see constraint network so constraint networks are referred to as low power and lossy networks so they have termed lossy lossy uh they have termed it it as lossy because the network is unreliable uh because it is caused by disturbances during data flow or packet loss so that's why it is always called as lossy network so now why we require why we have to concentrate on networks so it is because uh, high speed connections are not usable by iot devices for some reasons and those reasons may be like for example low bandwidth limited distance limited network services or even the packet delivery rate so sometimes due to low bandwidth whenever the network over reacts or under reacts uh, it may lead to a network collapse also now coming to the third area that is ip versions so as you all know there is a lack of address space uh, bet- so what is the difference between ipv4 and ipv6 so the main reason the main difference is that ipv4 has small ra- address space compared to ipv6 whereas ipv6 has much larger range of address space but since iot is a collection of different set of devices which is associated with uh, so iot device may have different solutions different protocols and also different product products so it should support both the versions concurrently so to acquire this constraint or this feature uh, some of the techniques such as tunneling translation uh, are employed so tunneling is nothing but uh, again it it is a movement of data from uh, one network to another uh, th- these are some of the techniques which are used to uh, run both the versions in iot so there are some factors which are applicable to both the versions uh, that support iot solution and it can be application protocol cellular provider and technology serial communications and also ipv6 adaptation layer 
so basically uh, because of this constrained networks constrained nodes and also ip uh, versions uh, which impose major challenges for iot infrastructure we require this optimization so the main these are the main reasons why we need to optimize an iot infrastructure so this was about the need for optimization